Hi, I'm Brian Wells from TechOps. For this edition of Blackboard, we're going to get an in-depth look at setting up the systems you will use to effect a rescue in a flooded channel. Getting all of you to Magic Mountain is not practical, but using the areas in your own jurisdiction is. We're at the Rio Hondo 103's area, but your drill site might be different. It might be a park, a parking lot, or the apparatus floor of your station. Wherever you conduct your drill, please practice these skills so you can safely perform a swift water rescue. All personnel will wear appropriate PPE. PPE consists of a swift water helmet, personal flotation device, brush jacket, blue webbing chest harness, and athletic shoes. Anchor points that can be utilized are an anchor bolt, which is pre-established in the channel, a fence post that has been deemed safe, a large vehicle such as an engine or a quint. Trees may also be used as an anchor. Anchor systems should be a wrap three pull two, as demonstrated here. or a tensionless anchor, which is shown here. A tensionless anchor is a minimum of four wraps around a structure or a tree, which is then clipped on itself using a carabiner. Rescuers on river left or river right may use a throw bag to pass the line from one side to the other. A rope length should be three times the width of the river. Ensure that the rope is at a 45 degree angle to the river. This angle will allow the victim to slide towards the shore once the line is grasped. Using a tension diagonal may not be the best option on a wide channel. Throw bags or an inflated fire hose may work better. If it is determined that a tension diagonal is going to be used on a wide channel, take advantage of nearby bridges to walk the line across. Attach the other end of the tension diagonal line to a mechanical advantage system. In this example, we are using a simple 3 to 1 mechanical advantage. If a tension diagonal line is too slack, the victim will not slide to the river's edge. Circumstances may warrant dropping the line down to the water surface because of the anchor's location relative to the water height. A tension diagonal may also be used to support a rescue net. <laughs> 